friends, Melinda here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post weekly workouts so that you can stay strong, fit, and fierce with me each and every week. If you're new here, make sure you consider subscribing. Continuing on with our Power Pilates series as we sculpt a gorgeously strong back today. Too often we neglect our back muscles within our daily workouts, so today we'll focus on strengthening the back to improve better posture and keep our spines healthy. If you enjoyed today's workout, make sure you click that like button below and show me some love. Now let's get ready for our back exercises. All right guys, so we are gonna start off in a seated position, move the fleshy part of your gluteals away, and we'll lift up through the sternum and out through the hips. Extend those arms nice and long to a T. We twist for three, two, one. Lengthen up, twist for three, two, one. Really reach the crown of the head. Pulse it up for three, two, one. Lift and lengthen through the sit bones. So we pulse, two, three, getting a little bit deeper each time that we pulse. Lengthen through the spine, up and out, flex through the feet. Pulse, two, three, up, lengthen, press. Pulse, two, three, up and out, again. Pulse, two, three, can you get a little bit deeper? Pulse, two, three, up and again. Pulse, two, three, we've got our mermaid sweeps. So we come into this staggered position here, reach up and out, and then we reach to the opposite side. So again, we're lifting through the torso here. Sweep up, so creating these gorgeous lines through the body. Breathe through it, up and around. Press, we don't want you to come into the body. I want you to think of lengthening through the body here. Reach. Stretch. So you'll feel those obliques working here. Multitasking. Reach. Up and out, strengthening the back and side bodies here. Reach. Coming back through center, we've got the opposite side. So we take a quick transition. We sweep up and around. Sweep. You're gonna notice maybe one side's a little bit tight, tighter. For me, it's this side that's a little bit tighter. And that's okay, we're just trying to find those imbalances and correct those imbalances within the body here. Stretch. Remember, lengthen through that tall spine. Reach. Finding grace through these movements. A nice flow through our movements here. Up and out. One more reach. Come back in through center. I'm going to make my way into a tabletop position. So tabletop. Cow and cat. Inhale, gaze goes up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, gaze goes up. Elbows pinch back. Exhale, round. Inhale, up. And then scoop the belly in as we arch and articulate through the spine. So there's this gorgeous articulation happening through the back. Inhale, elbows pinch back, and then exhale, high back. Inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, gaze goes up, drop the shoulder down the back. Exhale, pull the belly in. Very slowly coming down into a prone position from here. Legs can be together or maybe gently separated. So from here, we've got our cactus lifts. We'll gently lift up, modified version right here, and press. Drop the shoulders down, arms are in that 90 degree position, and then press. Exhale, scoop the navel in. Try not to allow the belly to hang outward. Really zipper your core in tightly here. Navel fully in away from your mat. And press. And lift. Try not to use your palms here. 
And then from here, let's take it a little bit deeper. If you want to go a little bit more advanced, we come up a little bit taller. So again, we're using the back strength. We're not using the arms. It's about 90% of that back working, and then gentle pressure 10% on those palms. Remember, we're strengthening our back muscles here. And then press. Again, pull low belly off of the mat. Scoop navel to spine. Reach. And then lower. From here, we've got the X position. I'll positional reach from here. So I lift right arm, left leg. Slowly drop it down. Lift. So we're reaching in opposition. So it's like I'm reaching your leg and arm in opposite directions here. Head is gently gazing down. You're gently lifting that forehead off the mat. Squeezing up at the top. Reach. Pull that core in tight. Core is so strong here. Lift. Now, to advance this, we start to take the lift of both arms and the legs. Drop navel in. And press. Really starting to feel the back muscles awaken here. Think of stretching that body long like you're on a stretcher. Reach it long. Find the X position within the air. Reach. And then press. Now zipper your legs together. Reach those arms in front of you. Little oppositional sweeps as we go into a modified swimmer. Lift. Press. So modified swimmer here. Lift. Drop the shoulders down. Now if you would like, let's take this into a little bit more advanced version. Swimmer press. Scoop the navel in. Reach. Breathe. You can go slow or fast with these. And press. Now we come right away into our star plank. So from here you can stagger your stance or you can go right away into that stacked stance. So this is the advanced version. Elbow going directly underneath your shoulder. Reach up. Lift up and out through your side body here. Inhale and exhale. Now if you want to advance this, you can lift that top leg into the star. Ooh, that really challenges your core, your entire body here. Stabilize the core, pull the navel in. From here, very slowly transition into your forearm plank. Scoop the belly in, don't allow yourself to dip. Pull the navel into the spine. Drop the shoulders down away. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Scooping the belly in, very strong line from the crown of the head all the way into those heels. Keep the breath. Inhale, exhale, push the floor away. Moving on to the opposite side, forearm plank from here. So now we've got the star position on the opposite side. Remember to lift up and out of your side body and then reach those arms actively towards the ceiling. Now you can stay here or you can lift that top leg for the advancement. Very challenging here. Hold and breathe. Inhale. Exhale, breathe. Press. Now very slowly coming back in through center and then very slowly lowering down onto the floor. As we crop back up, we'll find our high plank. From here, we pull the knee into the nose. Gently come down. Pull knee to nose. Come back down. Knee pulls in. Exhale, press. Wrists are directly underneath those shoulders. Breathe. So as you pull in, you exhale. Back to center. Reach. Back to center. One more. Reach. Now from here, a little bit wider stance. Cross in to the opposite elbow. Crossing. Knee presses. In. And squeeze press. Up and around. Pull. Squeeze it across. All the way. 
Last one right there. Let's slowly lower down as if we're coming into a chaturanga. Slowly release the toe tips. From here, we've got our arm circles. Up and press. Reach. Lifting slightly up. Reach. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Last exercise, you can do this. So we're not coming up too high. Scoop the belly in, remember strong core and strong backs here. Squeeze and zipper those legs together. Drop the shoulders down and away. And release. Slowly make your way into a child's pose. You can have your knees wide or close together here. Take that long breath. Inhale. Exhale. Let's walk your fingertips to the right of your mat. Maybe taking the left palm up and over. Feel that side body stretch as you lengthen the hips in opposition from those palms. And now very slowly make your way to the opposite side. Reach and press in opposition. Sink the hips into the heels, reaching those fingertips long and away from the body. And then once more, coming back in through center. Enjoy this stretch. Amazing job today, guys. Inhale. And exhale out. 